know you don't like me. You wanna fight me. You don't want no problems at your party. Don't invite me. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing Royal Rumble card predictions. So this is uh, the match card that I think is going to be happening for this year's Royal Rumble. And yeah, this year it should be crazy, especially with the whole COVID thing. It's probably not going to be full of surprises, except for like the women's Royal Rumble. But other than that, I don't think there's going to be that many surprises. But I'm going to start off with some of the matches now. Disclaimer, I'm filming this before Raw, the day after TLC. So TLC just happened. Raw hasn't happened yet, so if they announce any matches then and I'm wrong, then I'm going to have to bite the bullet. But anyways, yeah, let's get started. Match 1 for the pre-show will probably be the Street Profits versus Otis and Chad Gable, whatever their team name is. I don't know it. Gonna be a boring match, pre-show match. It'll probably be mostly a comedy sketch, so yeah. And I think the obvious winner would be Street Profits retaining. The next match would kick off the show, and that's another tag team match. The Hurt Business versus Retribution's members Slapjack and Mace. I think it's another obvious win. It's going to be a boring tag match. The obvious winners will be the Hurt Business. They're going to retain. Retribution is like nothing, so... Ooh. The next match will probably be the Intercontinental title match, and that's Sami Zayn versus Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan seems like the most, like, best candidate right now to put everybody else in the Royal Rumble and then have him fight for it. I don't like when they, like, have people do double duty and take the thing, so I don't do any of that. So if someone gets their own match, they're not in the Royal Rumble to me. So Lars Sullivan versus Sami Zayn is good enough. Let the actual other people be in the Royal Rumble, and yeah. And I think the winner would be Lars Sullivan, so. Yeah, need to build him up. Um, then the next match would probably be the women's tag team match. Asuka and Charlotte defending their titles against Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. And I think the winner of that match will be... Mandy and Dana, because they're going to build them up, but then Asuka and Charlotte are probably going to start feuding. And I don't want either of them in the Royal Rumble, because they already won Royal Rumbles not too long ago. So keep them out of the Royal Rumble. Keep Dana and Mandy out of the Royal Rumble. Have them win the titles. Everybody wins. Which brings us to the Women's Royal Rumble now. So, out of all the people that are going to be in it, um, you can watch my other video that I did doing the whole entry predictions thing. I think Ronda Rousey's going to win. She's going to return at number 30. Her and Shayna are going to eliminate a few people, and then Shayna's going to get eliminated by someone else. And then it'll be Ronda versus the other person, and then Ronda's going to win. And then next we have another Fiend versus Randy Orton match. The Fiend's going to win this time somehow, not interested in this feud, but that's what's happening, so that's my prediction on what's happening with that. Then we move on to Bobby Lashley versus Mustafa Ali. Again, Retribution is on a losing streak, they kind of suck right now, so Bobby's going to retain. And that's that. We're going to move on to the next one, and that is Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. I know that Roman Reigns is like their big build right now, and like it'd be like weird of them to put him in the main card, I mean the mid card, but there's nowhere else for him to go right now. So I think Roman versus Daniel is a good filler match because nobody really cares about Roman. And of course, Roman's going to retain, so whatever. And then we have our last women's night of the match, Carmella versus Sasha again. Carmella is gonna lose. Nothing more to say about that. Uh, I don't really like this feud either, but I do like Sasha, so Sasha's gonna retain, and that's gonna be the end of that. 
And then the last, like, main event kind of, I mean, the last singles main event thing going on is Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. I think they're going to have a title match. I think it should be pretty good. It should be a lot better than Roman versus Daniel. And I think Drew would retain, and that would be a good match. Maybe Miz can cash in. Probably not, though. Because the last match, the main event, is the Men's Royal Rumble, and I think the Miz is going to be in that. So he won't need to be in the Royal Rumble if he wins the title. So I think he's going to be in the Royal Rumble and not cash in. But I do think the winner of the Royal Rumble is going to be number 20, The Rock. I think he's going to be in it at number 20, and he's going to come in. He's going to eliminate like a couple people and win. So that way he can fight Roman, and then like they can get Roman out of there or do whatever. I'm just tired of Roman. So The Rock... I think is going to win the Men's Royal Rumble, the main event, and yeah, go on to WrestleMania, so on. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I'm mainly looking forward to the Women's Royal Rumble, the Men's Royal Rumble, and maybe the Women's Tag Team Match, but other than that, not that excited for this pay-per-view. So, yeah, um... I'm going to be releasing a men's Royal Rumble card, or not card, a Royal Rumble entry prediction video thing too. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and bye. So now, baby, did you know you saved me?